صادق أن بايدن لا يستطيع أن يوقف الحرب على غزة مين؟ أنا ما بعتقد بالكرة العرضية في حدا بيصدق أنه بايدن لا يستطيع أن يوقف الحرب على غزة Sheikh Hassan Nasrallah, leader of the Shia Hezbollah movement in Lebanon, believes that President Biden is playing a double game at the cost of Palestinian lives, pretending to care for the Palestinians by organizing humanitarian aid, while continuing to support Israel's war in Gaza. This is the story of the Shia Hezbollah movement in Lebanon, and the Shia Hezbollah movement in Lebanon. This is not just an American war, this is an American war. Nasrallah believes the Israelis cannot sustain the operation in Gaza for long, not because they lack the military means, but because they've suffered more casualties than they admit. The Israelis say casualties of officers and men is less than 600. Nasrallah believes otherwise. We announce our martyrs on live broadcasts, but the enemy hides its dead, and this has an impact on the Israeli army. The war is now in its fifth month, and even as the Israelis have rolled through Gaza and are now focused on Rafah, the U.S. intelligence community is warning that defeating Hamas will not be easy. In its annual threat report, the assessment says, Israel will probably face lingering armed resistance from Hamas for years to come. The Israeli military will struggle to neutralize Hamas's underground infrastructure, which allows insurgents to hide, regain strength and surprise Israeli forces. The war could conceivably thread northwards of Israel's border with Lebanon, where Hezbollah's armed fighters are based. Reports of over 5,000 attacks by Hezbollah on Israeli settlements have been reported. Israel has retaliated with airstrikes on Hezbollah camps and other targets going as far as Beirut, Saidon and Balbek. The concern is in the event of a Gaza ceasefire. Could Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu open a new front in Lebanon? An Al Jazeera report claimed this is something that Israelis have publicly said they intended to do because they want Hezbollah far from its border. They said much the same about Hamas and while they appear to have significantly degraded its armed potential, the war clearly still goes on. Clearly, Hamas as a fighting force is far from finished.